Jilly with One Good Thing by Jilly. Today we are talking about things you can freeze to save time and money. I was doing some research about um, whether I could freeze something and it got me thinking about all the things that I probably could be freezing that I'm not, but I just wasn't aware of whether you could freeze them, how you should freeze them. One of the things I love to freeze, especially this time of year when it's about to turn into winter time and the grapes that are so good in the store right now aren't good in the winter. I think they're kind of yucky. So I will freeze those. That's one of my favorite things. So that got me thinking about all the other things I could freeze. Um, and I came up with some things that I wasn't aware of and hopefully you will learn a few things too. Um, so I came up with 31 of them and they're all on the website. I'm just gonna highlight a few of them for you today. One of the things you can freeze and saves you a lot of money is cheese because you can buy cheese in bulk but you don't necessarily always end up using this ginormous block of cheese in time before it goes bad so you can freeze it um, the main thing with cheese though is that you let it thaw completely like on your ki kitchen counter before you put it back in the fridge that way um, you'll avoid the ice crystal problem and then it will be just as good as you just took it out of the refrigerator. So that is, that's really important with freezing cheese. You can also buy cheese and shred it. Just add like a tablespoon of cornstarch or flour and kind of um, shake it up in a bag with it and that'll help keep it um, separated, the shreds, so you don't have to worry about um, it sticking together. And another thing is to buy a really nice piece of like Parmigiano, Reggiano and grate it in your food processor. Put it in a bag, put it in the freezer. Every time you need you know, a tablespoon or so, grab some out of the freezer, you'll have it and it'll be so much better than the stuff in the, in the jar. Another thing that you can freeze and save you so much time, especially in the morning when you're getting kids ready for school, are homemade pancakes or homemade breakfast sandwiches. I like to just cook a big batch of homemade pancakes on the weekend put them on a cookie sheet and put them in the freezer, let them freeze um, separate so that when you put them in a baggie or however you wanna stack them in a Tupperware, put them in the freezer, they won't stick together. That is such a time saver in the mornings when you want pancakes instead of a bowl of cereal. Same thing with bre breakfast sandwiches. Uh, cook in bulk some, some bacon or sausage and some scrambled eggs, pile them up on an English muffin or on a biscuit, uh, put them all together, wrap them up in, um, parchment paper, aluminum foil, whatever you need, and put them in a baggie or in a Tupperware and put them in the freezer. Take them out in the morning, stick them in the microwave, you have a hot, fresh, much better tasting breakfast sandwich for your kids. And then also sandwiches is a really nice time saver when you're fixing lunch for yourself before you go to school or, or to work. You can really um, freeze an entire sandwich, especially um, deli meats and peanut butter and jelly. Those do really well in the freezer and then you just pull it out and stick it in your lunchbox. By the time lunch rolls around, it's thawed out and you can eat it. The only thing you don't want to freeze is the mayo or obviously lettuce and tomatoes. Pack those separately and add them um, when you're ready to eat. So, And the one other thing I wanted to talk about was milk. This is funny. I didn't know this. You ever wondered what this indent on the side of your gallon of milk was for? That is actually for the milk expanding if you want to freeze a gallon of milk. Believe it or not, what a revelation. You can freeze this entire gallon in your freezer and take it out as you need it um, because this, this indent will allow it to expand. If you happen to get a half gallon or a gallon that doesn't have this, just open it and remove like a cup or half cup of the milk um, to allow for expansion, put it in your freezer. And then just to use it, you allow it to thaw completely and then give it a shake because you want to shake up the solids that might collect. And you can do the same thing with buttermilk. I can't tell you how much buttermilk I have thrown away over the years because you need half a cup and you have to buy a quart. So stick it in the freezer. Next time you need it, let it um, thaw completely, shake it up, and you're good to go. Who knew you could freeze so many things? I certainly didn't, it was a revelation. Like I said, there's a lot more that you can learn about on the website, 31 different things you can freeze to save time and money. Go to onegoodthingbyjilly.com.